everyone! Today I wanted to share with you guys how to create the perfect red lip. And of course it doesn't have to be red, it could be orange, pink, maroon, whatever you like. But you get the point, it's about creating a beautiful lip that looks just perfect. Because with bright color or dark color lipstick you can easily, easily tell if you've made just the teeniest mistake. So, and, and afterwards I'm going to show you my best tip on how to not get lipstick on your teeth afterwards, if that makes any sense. So just wait until afterwards. But before you start doing this, you're going to have to do a little bit of prep. First, I want you to exfoliate your lips. You can either use a scrub or an old toothbrush and just get all that dead loose skin off there. And then I want you to use some lip balm because if you have dry lips, it's going to look nasty. Now, before we start, I'm just going to show you the things you need. You're going to need tissue paper or toilet paper, kitchen roll, doesn't matter. You're going to need foundation or concealer, as long as it's liquid, doesn't matter. A setting powder or something, a light powder, as long as it's loose and a light color. You're gonna need a highlighter. Just use whatever you have. It doesn't matter what it is. It can be an eyeshadow, face powder, or whatever. Red lipstick, of course, or orange pink. You get the drift. A fluffy brush, a small one. It doesn't have to be this size as long as it's fluffy. A matching lip liner, of course and a lip brush. So first of all you're gonna just blot away those last remnants of lip balm you have on there. There you go. And Then we're gonna add just a little bit of foundation or concealer whatever you're using. Just a little bit on the contours of your lips. You can do this of course while you're applying foundation, you don't have to do it now. There you go. And then I'm just gonna highlight the cupid's bow. That's the bow on top of your lips. I'm just gonna highlight that a little bit to make it pop. I don't know if you can tell on camera just a little bit. And then I'm gonna start off with the lip liner. And a lot of people wonder, do you have to have a lip liner for every lipstick shade? No, you don't. I have one red, one pink, one orange, and one nude. That's it. You're not really gonna show off the lip liner anyway. It's all about the lipstick. And then you're gonna start on the cupid's bow. It's hard to talk while I'm doing this. Work her way out. And now the trick is, if you want a straighter line here, you're going to start from the inside and go out. And if you want more of a curve, you're going to start from the outside in because that's going to create kind of a natural curve. I don't think anyone can help but do it. And just remember to do the same on each side. Now that I've lined my lips, as you can see, I've started filling them in with a lip liner. You don't have to go do your entire lips, but do a bit more than just a line. And the way, if you want to line your lips bigger, smaller, that's up to you. But remember, this is the hardest part and it takes a lot of practice. I filled in my lips with lip liner. I'm going to start with lipstick. I'm going to use a brush and I'm just 
gonna take that straight from the tube because you get more precision using a brush, you don't have to, but it gives superior results. And then, just gonna fill in your lips. And take your time, Harry. You're not in a hurry. And go all the way out through your edges. There you go, just a thin layer at first. And then you're gonna blot a little bit off. You've all seen this before. Just a little bit of tissue. And you get quite a bit off. And now comes the part you didn't think of, probably. You're gonna use some setting powder or, you know, any kind of powder. Put it on your brush. Just dab that on your lips. Just be careful so you don't move the lipstick. <coughs> and don't get it in your mouth, Jesus. And there you go. And then you're gonna apply lipstick again. A little bit like the first time. The same way, you're going to use the brush. All the way out. And there you go. It's as simple as that. And this is gonna make your lipstick last hours longer. You'll probably see that you won't lose as much lipstick when you eat. And this is really the best way to go for a night out. Now you're wondering, how am I gonna keep all this red lipstick off my teeth? We've all been there, red, pink, orange, any kind of lipstick on your teeth, it's not pretty. So you're gonna use tissue paper again. This is not a very sexy trick, but it makes the world difference. You're gonna put it around your middle finger like this, all the way around, and you're just gonna, um, Put it in your mouth and close it like this. You see, I didn't actually get a lot of it off. Just just a little bit of lipstick and that's what would have ended up on my teeth. As you can see, no lipstick. So that's it. I hope you learned something from this video and I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you enjoyed it, of course, give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. So thank you for watching. Bye!